Once upon a time, there were three peers. A birdie peer, a shrubby peer, and a shivy peer. One morning, shrubby peer and shivy peer awoke to find that birdie peer had stayed up all night preparing an elaborate breakfast of porridge. They all sat down to eat. This porridge, which I stayed up all night preparing, is too hot, said the birdie peer. Porridge would not have been served at this temperature. In period, said the shrubby peer. Ow, said the shivy peer. <laughs> well, no sense in wasting time while we wait for it to cool. Let's go out and tidy the forest, said the shirt, said the birdie peer. I do need to look for some rare herbs, said the shrubby peer. Pretty trees, <laughs> said shivy peer. So off they went. Soon a girl happened by, followed by her retinue. She was called Goldie Hat because of her beautiful gold-plated headgear. She walked into the peer's kitchen. Food tester, test this porridge, said Goldie Hat. This porridge is too cold, your worthiness. Food tester, test this porridge, said Goldie Hat. Oh, this porridge is, what did I say last time, too hot? I should have said too hot. This porridge is too cold, your worthiness. Food tester, test this porridge, said Goldie Hat. Ah, this porridge is just right, your worthiness. So Goldie Hat sat down and ate the whole bowl. Then she and her retinue processed to the living room. Chair tester, test this spot on the floor where a chair would be if Bertie Peer ever sat down, said Goldie Hat. In this spot on the floor where a chair would be if Bertie Peer ever sat down is too hard, your worthiness. Chair tester, test this elaborately hand-carved pet chair piled high with elaborately embroidered pillows, said Goliath. This elaborately hand-carved chair piled high with intricately embroidered pillows is too soft, your worthiness. Chair tester... Test this lazy boy, okay? Said Goldie Hat. <laughs> this lazy boy is just right, your worthiness. So Goldie Hat sat down and reclined, and sat up and reclined, and sat up and reclined, and raised the footrest and lowered the footrest until sproing. Then she and her retinue processed to the bedroom. Bed tester. Test this spot on the floor where a bed would be if Bertie Peer ever slept, said Goldie Hat. This spot on the floor where a bed would be if Bertie Peer ever slept is too hard, you worthiness. Bed tester, test this pile of leafy branches, said Goldie Hat. This pile of leafy branches is too soft, your worthiness. Bed tester, test this racing car bed said Goldie Hat. This racing car bed is just right, your worthiness. So Goldie Hat lay down upon the bed, tucked her headgear under the pillow, and fell fast asleep. Because there is no other way to fall asleep in a racing car bed. <laughs> Soon after, the peers arrived home from their walk and went to finish their breakfast. Someone has been eating my porridge, which I stayed up all night preparing, said Bertie Peer. Someone has been eating my porridge, and they used the wrong spoon, said Shrubby Peer. Hungry, said Shivy Peer. Then they went to the living room. Somebody has been sitting on the spot on the floor where a chair would be if I ever sat down, said Bertie Peer. Somebody has been getting their greasy fingers all over my elaborately hand-carved chair, piled high with intricately embroidered pillows, said the shrubby peer. Broken, said the shivy peer. 
Then the peers proceeded to the bedroom. Somebody has been sleeping on the spot on the floor where a bed would be if I ever slept, said Bertie Peer. Somebody has been resting on my laurels, said the shrubby peer. Woman, said the shivvy peer. Just then, Goldie Hat awoke, sat up, and put on her headgear. Your worthiness, said the birdie peer. Your worthiness, said the shrubby peer. Shiny, said the shivvy peer. So the peers joined Goldie Hat's retinue, and they went around invading houses all over the kingdom and lived happily ever after. The end, children. Oh.